The world building in Essewarization is amazing. And the plot of how Quinella was basically one of the first royal nobles because in the beginning there was these four GMs that went in. One person obviously kind of introduced original sin to these people. And eventually the people with the knowledge got to abuse the sacred art system and made it think that like she was a god. Basically, Quinella banned people from using system arts to kill monsters because that would get them EXP and that could potentially harm her power control. She uses religion to basically um, manipulate and kind of like control these ignorant, uneducated people. And this is how she reached this top state of the central cathedral as Pontifex or the Pope. Crazy shit. The fact that she was just gambling on random system calls to figure out if a list of all different system commands ever existed, like did, she did it. It's like, something about that is so insanely hyped. You would think that, like, out of context, it seems kind of nerdy, right? The fact that she just thing random lines until one word, but in the context of SAO and what we know, stuff like that literally gave me chills, like goosebumps, like, oh my god, she actually hacked her way in to the cardinal and now she became one with it somehow she's like this immortal being um she has retained eternal youth and she has contact with the outside world as well i wonder what kikoka and the dev team of wrath thinks about pontifex but that's for us to figure out later we're still in this like the library which is this domain of the cardinal and kirito's getting a lot of more information conveniently without yuji being in the room because if yuji understood this shit what would happen to him? Would his like brain fry and realize, holy shit, I'm an AI? Let's figure out today's reaction. Continuing with the lore? Is she bored? Dude, she still looks like Asuna so much. What? Look like memory cap. <laughs> you ever get a new Genshin update? New HSR update, new Wuthering Waves update, and your phone doesn't have enough storage, so you gotta start deleting apps. <laughs> she, she, there's, no, there's not enough backup! She's out! She's out of memory! Oh no! What are you gonna do? You got extra backup drives? <laughs> A demonic solution. Delete. I don't know how each individual's memory is stored, but is she gonna sacrifice other NPCs to free up her own space? What? Sister! <laughs> Cardinal! Cardinal! Twin sister! Right? Or is it just a random girl? It looked like Cardinal to me. But it sounds like it's just a regular girl. If I can copy my own Flucklight thoughts and memories by overriding this child Flucklight. So, remember what I said about the politicians? The conspiracy? That the deep state or some shit? That all of them are fucking using fetus stem cells to retain eternal youth it's like a whole demon cult this is the same shit dude they're taking innocent children and overriding their flock lights diabolical the secret technique to fuse soul and memory called the synthesis ritual and synthesis is a key word because what do we know about that alice is synthesis 30 the other dude was synthesis 31. The technique to fuse soul and memory, which is obviously memory manipulation, is synthesis. So obviously, you know, that purple stick that came out of their heads, all of them had their, I don't know, they, they tampered with the memory. Synthesis. She stole lifespan, basically. Not really, she stole the soul. What? Why? I wonder if the... If she stole the Flucklight, she's assuming that it's going to be a blank slate, but I wonder if some part of the Flucklight that she stole, there still resides some residual soul, and it's kind of trying to take over Queen Ella, if you know what I mean. There was a split second when she and the girl became two gods wielding equal authority. For that split second... Uh, I don't know, actually. Okay. So basically, Cardinal exists to constantly moderate without having human interference. It's supposed to be self-regulating 24-7. It has a main and sub-process, two core programs, whatever balance is. Got it. It's like self-correcting itself. 
サブプロセスツの心の奥底でこうの過ちを正さねばならない。おー !So from within! It's trying to correct Quinella's mistake. So again, it's just like this inner soul that's trying to, trying to come out and just fix, you know, Quinella's reign of terror. What? 70 years! 70 year plan! And now, is it ready? I don't know, but basically, this is Cardinal, right? The twin sister. Pontifex was. You know, take him. She, she was running out of memory. Her solution was to override other people's flux lights, but while doing so, you know, th there can be the sub process that can take over the main process and fix that shit. Got it. 70 year old plan. Episode 13 Ruler and Mediator. All right. Oh! The 70 year old plan! <laughs> I love how, the, like, the whole system call component of, like, incantations is so long, right? Because you have to always say system call, generate something element, then you have to shape it, and then you have to discharge it, right? There's a whole, there's so many steps involved. Is there no one that can just do this shit incantationless? Ball shape. Discharge! System call. Oh shit! That was so unnecessary. But it was necessary. <laughs> oh, Rod! Cool, cool. Bro, these battles are so fucking. Every, every fucking second. System code. System code. System code. Everybody just... Cause that's how you do it, you know? You wanna fight, you gotta fucking go by the incantation. Huh? Off limits. Ooh. The sound effect. System code. Generate new body. Mode. I don't fucking know. <laughs> she ran away! System element. What shape? Stream shape! Discharge! No, no discharge needed because this is not like an attack that you're shooting. This is just like imbuing yourself with like haste. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? There are just two locations in this world that even the administrator can't control. The obviously the dark territory, but what is it? End mountains, dark territory? Your own domain? Your library! System code Two places where Pontifex you know rule doesn't you know it, it, it doesn't have rule over. The Great Library and Beyond the End Mountains, Dark Continent. Why? Because I, I want to know more about the Dark Continent. Because that shit is so mysterious. Why specifically did Wrath develop such that the people's powers does not ex like the church's power does not extend beyond the end mountains? There's got to be such a deep reason on why that is. 200 year stalemates. All right. So you spent 200 fucking years here cooking up a plan. I hope you actually have a plan. Like you can give to Kirito step by step process and how we beat this. You better have a plan. Integrity Knights. Yeah! Yeah, it's that stick, right? Synthesis 31? 31? Is this Berkeley? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you showing me the dragon? Berkeley. Berkeley? Remember? The lore of Berkeley, the dude that had the blue rose sword, the dragon shit? So. I mean, an in uh, every Integrity Knight obviously has been memory manipulated. This is just a fact now, right? Every one of them goes through this synthesis ritual and they have their memory overwritten so that they will always be loyal to her. Berkeley was one of those things in the beginning. And the dragon, Blue Rose Sword, that's right. The first Integrity Knight ever synthesis, can we call it zero or one? But it, he hated the church's rule the most. That's so funny. Does he still exist? I wonder. But like, he hates the church the most? Hmm. Our village! One. One of up to now. Really? 
And basically, Kirito is that now. He scouted him. That hair thing, exactly. <laughs> now, I wonder if she also told us how to, you know, cast the sacred arts in that uh, flower resurrection scene. Hello, Kumo. The entire time? <laughs> Fuck you mean she did more than just watch. What do you mean? Yeah, that, 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 that's what she means. I was spying on you and Yujiro fucking. It was? The flower scene, yeah, it is. Her calling is ending. That's kind of fucked up. Now I can rest in peace. <laughs> she couldn't go to rest for 200 fucking years. She was put on this work, bro. Now Charlotte can finally rest in peace. See, that's a good question. Why is Kikoka and the devs of Wrath team fine with Pontifex? Why is that the case? Because it benefits them, right? It's either they can't do anything about it or it strictly just benefits them. Why would it benefit Wrath? Wrath's goal is to be able to mass produce these soldiers that's willing to kill. Most of the people, the AIs in here can't kill. Pontifex has created a system of the taboo index, right? And honestly, the taboo index is the thing, the rule to, you know, break. It just kind of serves as this, kind of like this test to see, can you break this test, right? The whole reason that the Integrity Knights, the Axiom Church and everything exists is to, you know, have these 10 commandments. And if you can break that shit, then it's actually in their best interest and they can bring people over and potentially, you know, make them into better soldiers. Right? It, that, that's pretty much it, right? Or they're just horny for Pontifex. <laughs> I don't really know. But Pontifex also does have direct reach to outside world too, apparently. But I think that whatever Pontifex is doing right now with the, you know, Taboo Index and shit, I, I think that it does help Kikoka and mass produce two soldiers. Well, define happy life, right? If you define a happy life as in all the people in this world are just uh, getting along and no one's breaking rules and everyone's thriving, well, that's not the point of this simulation. The point of the simulation, Project Arisization, again, is to mass produce those soldiers. Yeah, they're observing how the people will resist. Exactly. Are you willing to break the rules? Final phase? What is it? Armageddon? Or like, what is it? Okay, we're getting dark territory lore. Got it. So these are interesting because these are monsters, but these monsters all have artificial flux lights that's derived from humans. So what? Did they get a bunch of people like... Laughing coffin members and copy like people like them. You know, there's a lot of shitty people around. Get their fluck lights and put the it's the souls into them. This is getting pretty exciting. The monsters have fluck lights like humans, except their greater impulse to slaughter and plunder. Dark territory lore. Yeah, a bunch of zazas. Just a whole guild of laughing, you know, laughing a coffin and every one of those pieces of shits just like in here, man. And like, I really, really fucking hope that. Zaza and his new boss, right? The people that we saw in episode 1 during that battle in GGO, that they potentially are in here too through STL. That'd be so cool. The day of wreck. They probably are waiting for it so much. Hmm. The guardian dragons of each different coordinates were slain. Probably because she was afraid of their powers. Queen Alien doesn't want anyone threatening her. So now, I mean, literally, <laughs> season four is literally called War for the Underworld. Like, gee, I wonder when the Day of the Reckoning is going to come. Season four is probably going to delve really into the war. Now, who do we team up with, right? Clearly, there is no real good side. I don't know much about the Dark Territory, but those people seem evil, very evil. But who knows if it's actually that evil? I, I don't know. We need to go there and meet them. We've seen the orcs. We've seen the monsters. But are they that actually evil? That's not been confirmed yet. It really seems like it. But on our side... Even though we seem good, we're pretty trash, man. We'll see how this works. They need Hiro Kirito. I guess so. 
The day of reckoning is the most important problem. Fuck it, then let's, th let's team up with the Dark Territory. And just destroy the people here, bro. The Four Empires, Unification, blah blah blah, bullshit. Fuck them. Fuck all the churches, dude. Let's just team up with the Dark Territory. Based? Based? <laughs> Based? Hmm. What is it? She about to fucking delete all the files? She is literally about to delete everything. The entire database is about to get just dropped. Do you have access to that? Can you do that? Rath surely has backups, right? Cardinal is just saying, fuck this entire simulation. I'm pulling the plug. Can you do that? Okay. You can just do that? Okay. Archive the flux lights. And then, like, let's say we archive Yu-Gi-Oh's flux lights before she destroyed this world, right? So, the end game is basically this. She wants to delete everything. But if you can help her achieve her goals, then we can archive some flux lights. There's potential that when we log out, that characters that we're fond of, like Alice and Yu-Gi-Oh, they could potentially exist outside. Just kind of like Yui. In like a different body or something, but okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. We have Tisei, right? We got the Kohais. That's right, I forgot, I forgot about them. I forgot about them. Light cubes of 10 or so. Selka also, yeah? Yeah, they're like twins. Hmm, high rank. Escape where? Because that's how much she hated Quinella. And that's how petty she was. What? She just wanted the revenge no matter what? As the sub process that self corrects. She has only one goal. Well, who knows how true this is. Maybe there is, in the future, an option to change her mind. Kirito can do some fucking talk no jutsu bullshit as a main character and Cardinal will switch her mind and maybe it doesn't have to go like this. What is it? Yeah, what? Are you bricked up right now? No, what? What? What is the one thing that she wanted to know for 200 years? What? <laughs> okay. Is she trying to headpack Kirito right now? For 200 years, all she wanted to do was feel like the warmth of a human or some shit? What is this? Because she got on his height level, right? He's calling come closer. What do you want, a hug? You want a headpat? What is it? <laughs> A hug? Hug me! <laughs> That's it, she just wanted to embrace. She just wanted to embrace him because she was so lonely. It's the warmth of another person. Yuji was still taking a shit, by the way. Yuji conveniently for about two episodes has just been gone while all this lore has been revealed. Conveniently. <laughs> 200 years, she wanted to feel the embrace of this man. That was fast. <laughs> just hugs this Christ. Oh, this is the warmth of a human. Immediately just breaks off. Come on, motherfucker. Let's get going. I'll try my best, I guess. I feel like we gotta accept a proposal. But at the end, we just have to show her that there's a different outcome. There's a different way to solve this. Deleting the entire database is not the only option. There's gotta be a way Kirito can figure it out. There it is. Classic main character. Wow! Wow! Raising an AI! That's a good question. If she does escape, well, I thought we're having a backup of you, and then we can escape with the backup, but that's an interesting mechanic. One day. Is that a flag? I wanted a little more of something hopeful. Alright, Yuji is back! 
He's done taking his shit. Cardinal. Yeah, what's the plan? Sure, that's a goal. But what's the actual plan, though, to get there? Yes. It is. And all we gotta do is just be like, Hey! The cooking you made for me? You lied? That was your mom. And she's gonna be like, Oh, it's true! And then the fucking thing's gonna come out of her head. And the more that we confront her about the fucking past shit that she knows, then the Alice will return. It's that simple. How to reverse? Just, just confront them other memories. We kind of saw it last episode. Piety module, the, the thing that sticks out. Got it. Mm -hmm. The exact thing that happened last episode, but that alone wouldn't be enough? Okay, okay. So not only do you have to confront their memories and then what? What? So, obviously, in order to stick it in, there was something that existed before. That's the memory module. Memory fragment. So, even if you take that shit out, she's not going to be the same. You need to find a memory fragment and put that shit back in there, too. Well, it's time to infiltrate her chambers, then. Yeah. We need to get into the queen's chambers. Equipment? I mean, we already have the swords, but Alice has that right now. I wonder if she could just fucking... System call or summon Kirito's and Yuji's swords. I don't know. But the armors, maybe? We can get new armor? She's about to drip us out, I think. Well, she'll fight you, alright. What? Two tiny swords? <laughs> That's a Mihawk dagger. That's the shit that Mihawk carries around in his fucking necklace that he fought Zoro against in Baratier. That probably was one of the first moments that I really started to get into One Piece, bro. That shit was fucking amazing. Okay. Hold up. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wanna do a little detour? Uh, this is the sword! This is the Mihawk sword! <laughs> Bro, this ain't one piece. This is fucking two piece. Sora! Flashback! <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Did you hear him there? You saw Santori, they started laughing. <laughs> this transition scene too, bro. <laughs> I think he just said. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. He said he's still fighting. I, 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 later, there's a moment where I think Joe says, like, a wound on a back is the biggest shame a swordsman can have or something, right? The Black Blade! 3,000 worlds! <laughs> yeah, this is it. A wound on a back. <laughs> <laughs> They put tape over it. They put tape over the fucking shirt. I'll never lose again. <laughs> Sanji! Sanji just has a yellow plastic bag on his hair. That's his prop. I'll never lose again, Luffy. <laughs> Anyways, that was that's a that's the One Piece anime, by the way. The true, the real thing, the true One Piece uh, live action. It's called Two Piece.
Or maybe some people call it one slice. Anyways, that so reminds me of it. Anyways, let's get back to it. Link to me. Okay, we need to stab Yujiro right now. Got it, got it. And then basically, she can just use her OP powers. Okay, we gotta stab Alice, and then it'll affect her. Got it, got it. Stab her with tiny sword. Okay. There's no way you can talk and reason her. Maybe, actually. Who knows? She says something really important there. I originally created to use against the administrator and kept another one as a spare. But we have two right now. You got one try, bro. Armor. Swords. Yeah, we do. Nice. What about armor? It keeps getting bigger. Ugh. That's a lot of floors to climb. What? What else? Right, release memory recollection, right? It's basically them releasing their shikai. I hope there's a second component, bro. I hope that there's a fucking bankai. But so far, release memory recollection seems to be like a shikai like in Bleach. Divine object class. But blue rose sword also is a divine object class. The dude was using a whip. They're fashioned from a snake. Our sword. Can we do... Like, Yuji is 100% gonna do something. Right? Like, he has to. He has to have a moment where we do release memory recollection. Like, that's gonna be so sick. Fully releasing. Perfect control arts. What's happening? Is this a tree? The demon tree! We saw the demon tree, right? The Gigas tree was shown like as an imagery when he was fighting Volo too. Remember when he went golden sword mode? Yeah, and then Yujio is what? Is it a dragon or what? Thorns? Vines? Just the blue rose itself? Got it? Blue rose in a tree. Huh? What is it? I can't, I can't read that. It's a system call. System code. The, s the handwriting is too fucking much. It's too much. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just to call something. There's a perfect art something. It, the handwriting is too messy. I can't read this shit. That's what I'm talking about. And the boys are off. Ikuzo! Next time, the Crimson Knight, which I'm assuming is the Red Integrity Knight that uh, saved the Synthesis 31 last episode. But damn, another episode just full of lore. And goddamn, this is so good. Getting more understanding of what's going on with Quinella. Essentially, she ran out of space, you know, memory. We're out. We need more fucking gigabytes of RAM or some shit. We need more just data storage. But in order to overcompensate for that, what did she do? She decided to override other people's flux rights and etch their memories into it. But by doing so, that was one of the core mistakes. That kind of birthed Cardinal, right? For a 70-year plan, she was waiting for this shit. And now, her plan is to basically just reduce everything to the nothingness. Unless Kirito can figure out a way. The reason she waited 200 years without just like, you know, just saying fuck everything is for the warmth of the human embrace, which is actually so... That's actually so wholesome. She's just been lonely for this entire time. She was just waiting in the library the entire time, man. And finally, Kirito shows up to do that. That was actually so nice. Now, what is the plan? Well, we know about the synthesis ritual. That's about creating Integrity Knight by replacing their memories. Their memory something is replaced and put in with that piety something, right? The purple rod thing, and that kind of replaces the memory. In order to confront the Integrity Knights and expose them to the past memory, the game plan is stab Alice with the mini sword. Then Cardinal Sacred Arts will also be effect impacted, right? Sleep, pull that shit out, figure out where the memory stuff is in Quinella's chambers and put that shit in, and then we'll have Alice back. Scene 3, we have, we're about 50% done now, right? I think this is episode 13, so I guess this season will... Because, like, yes, the war is happening, but there is season 4, so I'm going to assume that season 3 is basically just 
rescuing Alice and then getting prepared, then season four then is the war is kind of how I see things playing out. But that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.